Kathy, my awesome friends. So this is part two of our little ATC where we have done a little bit of high relief and we filled the back with craft glue. So I'm using just ordinary craft glue, wood glue, nothing fancy. And as you can see, the glue which was white has now kind of got a translucent creamy color, which means it's completely dry. And I'm going to take the backing off. You can hear there's a bee buzzing around here. But anyway, I like bees. So, all right. So, taking the backing off, it's extremely sticky. And we are going to place our ATC on this edge. Now, the reason I'm doing it this edge, let me just show you. Remember, we've got a little gap here. And I don't want the raised design to be right on the edge. So, I've left a little gap. We are sticking it on there. So I'm not too worried about the overlapping on this side. That's fine. And I don't want to squish my design too much. So using my paper stump, we are going to smooth it gently. So if you recall, part one, we used stencils to create this amazing design. And we also use stencils for the backing. Okay, so here we have a little bit of excess. I've rubbed it on nicely. We're going to trim it. And I find much easier to use very sharp scissors because you don't want to hook the metal tape. And I find my blade always seems to hook the thick 70 micron tape. So I'm just trimming it from the back. And there's a little bit here I want to get. And then here. Okay, so there we are. All done. I'll lift it up for you to see how amazing is this beautiful ATC. Now, the other thing that you can do just on the edge, I'm only doing this on the edge. I'm using an old credit card or I've got this tool. Whatever you want. I'm only doing the edge because I don't really want to um, squish any of the design. So there you go. So that's nicely done. And remember, this is your 70 micron tape. So using my old book. Sorry. And to color it in with my permanent marker, my Sharpie. And we'll just color this in. And there was... A little area that I forgot to technique. I'm going to see if you notice it. Oh, it's been a very, very hot day today here in South Africa. Uh, I kind of don't really know what to do with myself. I'm drinking lots of water. And it's extremely noisy as well. There's lawn mowing and uh, the whole day has been busy and I'm chatting to you now and doing this tutorial and it's nearly um, four o'clock in the afternoon so it's quite a late day so now you can see I've colored it with my permanent marker and now we're going to buff it now please remember you've got high relief you've got raised areas you do not want to squish them so work very carefully very lightly and I am working extremely lightly because I don't want to squish my raised areas using my buff. And I hope you can see it. It's really lovely. And then you can spot the mistake. Not the mistake, just the area that I forgot to do. Let's see if you can notice it. So there's our amazing design. And it really came out beautifully. And the glue certainly, um, you know, filled the back. So it's not that easy to squish. But you've still got to work carefully. So if you look here, you can see over there, I forgot to technique. I forgot to draw the little lines. So that's not a problem. We will go back and fix that.
Okay. And then we'll just re-ink the area that we have, have fixed. There you go. Give it a minute. While we're waiting, I've decided that I want to put a little bit of fake stitching on the edge. So I'm going to do that as well. And as you know me, fake stitching is my go-to technique to really finish off a project. It gives it that little extra pizzazz. And let's do that. And you can add it at any time. I'll do this one too. There we go. There, there, and that corner, and there. So, I've done a little bit of extra pizzazz here, and it'll be worth the while. So, if you are following my YouTube channel, um, please turn on the notifications so you can see when I upload new tutorials. I upload them every week. And um, take a look at my creative page, which is made by KJ on Facebook. And on Instagram, it's awesome crafts, O-A-R-S-U-M. And uh, give me a follow there. How beautiful did this ATC come out. It's really, really stunning. So this is your high relief ATC and I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Looking forward to seeing your creations. Have a blessed day.